Well, it's an incredibly distressing time for elderly Australians, with the pandemic putting our senior citizens most at risk. Although face-to-face -face -face may not be possible at the moment, it's vital to check in on your parents in any way you can and find out what they need at each stage of their lives. DPL Life Design Aged Care Specialist Brenda Will joins us now from Perth. Brenda, great to have your company this morning. Can we break this down in decades with you? What do ageing parents really want and need from their kids? Let's start in the 60s. So 60s is right at the beginning of retirement. It's an exciting time. It's a new chapter of life. So it's a really important time to be setting goals. We set goals throughout our lives and it's particularly important in retirement. I always say set realistic goals as well. So don't just plan for things like holidays and great nomad adventures. Think about what life is gonna look like for you when you're in middle and later retirement as well. Also get your finances in order. Money is not everything, but it helps enormously and it gives you options in retirement. So make sure you get good financial advice, invest wisely, particularly in volatile times like this, to make sure that your money will last you through retirement. And then thirdly, make sure you organise your legal documents as well. Mm. We all know about wills and how important it is to have a will in place, oh, yeah. but do you all have enduring powers of attorney and enduring powers of guardianship to give someone responsibility to help you if you need help later in life? Okay, what about if your parents are in their 70s? What needs to be focused on there? So in your 70s, people are often having a bit of a quieter time in life. So it's really important time to make sure that you keep active, use it or lose it, like they say. So make sure you keep active physically, mentally, socially, and have something that you're passionate about in life, some purpose in life that will challenge you and get you out of bed every morning. Also, consider carefully your home and evaluate your living space. Is your home going to be a suitable place for you to stay throughout retirement? Is it ageing friendly? If it's not ageing friendly, can you make it ageing friendly or do you need to consider downsizing to a more suitable place whilst you still can? And thirdly, declutter, declutter, declutter. Cluttering is something that we all do as human beings, but as you get older, it gets even harder. So make sure you declutter early and on a regular basis. Well, how about as we move into our 80s? So in our 80s, it potentially is a time where we need to start asking the question, do we need some help at home? So do we need some help with uh, cleaning, gardening, or do we even need some home care services? So don't be afraid to speak to your GP and to get some guidance around what sort of help you can get at home. And remember, home care services can take a lot of time to organise. Mm. Commonwealth home care packages are wonderful, but the waiting list is very, very long. So you don't want to leave it to the last minute. Also, make sure that you review your legal documents as well. Who is the responsible person that will be helping you if you can't help yourself? And keep that person close to you so they understand your situation, what you want and what you need. And thirdly, socialisation. You know, social isolation is such a big problem in our community, particularly as people get older. Evidence shows now, research shows that it's really important to stay socially engaged for our own health. So make sure that your elderly parents in their 80s keep socially engaged. And finally, tell us about uh, people in their 90s. So if you get to your 90s, then I think if you don't have it already, quality of life is gonna be everything for you. And you can have good quality of life throughout retirement by getting help from the right people, from your GP, allied health services, and from community groups to make sure that you still are living your very best life, no matter what your age is. Also, consider whether you may need to review your care services. Do you need more care at home? Or even might you want to consider respite care, trying to go into care on a temporary basis to see what it's like. And finally, consider residential care. Now, none of us like to think about going to residential care. I know it's a 